Hello, hello, my lovely angels. This is your girl Sim back with another episode of the Sim Squad. Hi. So, as you know, I'm trying to pump out videos like super fast because I want to like share with you all the perfumes that I've bought before you go out and buy it and like make decisions. Like, I just need you guys to like go through my videos so that you get an idea of like what I think about these perfumes. So, don't be in a hurry when perfumes are released because definitely they're like priced slightly higher when they open and then as and how the perfume gets older you can also know more about the perfumes and then make like informed decisions you know so today i have two perfumes for you from paris corner and this is from uh, their original line so this is the hair and the hair pistachio hair pistachio has gone viral uh, for being the dupe of okay hi marcus he just jumped on the table. Well, hello. What are you looking at? For the dupe of uh, Pistachio Yum by Keali. Marcus, do you want to say hi? <laughs> Whoa, dude, you become heavy. Eee, look at him. You're cute. You're so cute. <laughs> okay. So while he messes around on the table and distributes his fur everywhere, You'll see him on and off because he's right in front of the camera, but we can't see him. So <laughs> let me start with, can I have my tester strips, Marcus? Thank you. He's like the son I've never had, you know, so. <laughs> so hair, which is the original. So I have classified this as a fruity animalic perfume. This is one of the best um, fruity, serious perfumes that I've ever smelled. It's, it doesn't smell juvenile. It doesn't smell weird it doesn't smell like uh, kiddish or anything like you know i want like fruity perfumes to be a little different now this guy it's only for 18 dollars and the moment i smelled it i was like i smell like this i've smelled something like this like fairly recently and it reminded me of imperial valley by giza now while that's true giza is a little bit more serious like that smells more masculine this smells slightly more fun and if you see the notes, you'll be a bit like, okay, the price for this is only US dollars 18, which is like peanuts. Like, I don't know how they're even selling perfumes for this price. Yeah. Plus the bottle is like, kind of like, not bad. It's pretty. The hair pistachio is the same, but it's like a green color bottle. The top notes for this are bergamot, grapefruit, and fruity notes. Middle notes of cedar wood, flower, and patchouli. And the base notes of animalic, musk, and amber. So it's like very like, uh, uh, f it's very obscure, the notes, you know, like they've not really said exactly what's going on. But like the fact that it has bergamot and grapefruit on the top, I can clearly smell it. Fruity? I don't know. Because I can actually smell the bergamot and the grapefruit and then maybe like a artificial kind of fruit in the background. I do smell like this aquatic thing going on with the slightly, with, that's why this reminds me very much of uh, Imperial uh, Valley by Giza because that again was like this, aquatic aromatic spicy like everything together like a fresh scent and i uh told you like it smells like eric bana like i imagine that how that's how eric bana would smell like this is kind of reminding me of the same thing but this is like a little bit more fresh a little bit more fruity and in the base notes they say they have this animalic note and with musk and amber i actually quite like this one it is for me it's like super masculine and yeah, while I do like like unisex fragrances and I was looking for like a twist on uh, maybe fruity fragrances, I don't think this is something I would like to wear myself or maybe I would, but maybe in summer, like if like I actually feel like I should be in a mood for it. It smells juicy. It smells extremely sweet, but then it has that animalic note, which is like a wearable uh, suede leather kind of note, which is not overpowering at all. It's there like minutely in the background which is what's like making it smell a little masculine and a little bit more serious and not just be a generic fruity fragrance the freshness of bergamot and grapefruit really helps here because it's giving it that fresh elevation that if that it didn't have that the fruitiness and everything would become a little too cloying or maybe like not be as uh, attractive as a uh, freshy for meant for summer the florals the way they have described it flowery it's exactly that like you can't identify the flowers at all you feel it smells like artificial flowers like it's like a mist or something like a flower mist like you don't know what's in that mist it's just flowers and you know it's flowers right 
and it smells exactly like that. So I don't know what flowers they are, but there's definitely flowers in this. Uh, but the cedar wood and patchouli is like in the end, that's what does the magic. It creates this base, which is really amazing. And again, that is a little too masculine for me, but that's where the twist happens, where it you feel like it's a unisex perfume and then starts going to, towards a very masculine uh, leaning scent. The star of the show, of course, is the mixture of the fruity notes with the bergamot and then it has that animalic uh, um, nuance which is like amazing along with that cedar wood and musk like mixed all together it's a beautiful very it smells like a simple scent but i'm assuming it's not because it does have like a really good balance like i don't know and i don't know what's supposed to smell like but i feel it smells like imperial valley yeah Hair is very uncomplicated just think of fruity notes with some mild leather and a, a lot of earthiness it's, it just smells simply just like that, yeah? The freshness of the grapefruit and bergamot subside quite a bit and ultimately just becomes like a, this medley of fruity floral along with your uh, suede leather kind of a scent and a lot of earthy notes. This is excellent for like a summer evening, like if you're sitting, hanging out with friends and you know, it like gets a little cooler in the evening and you want to sit and hang out with your friends. It's, it's It would be a nice uh, scent to socialize with. I don't think you can wear this to work and stuff because it's quite sweet. It's like really fruity and it is a little bit overpowering. They have not mentioned oud over here. Although just like Imperial Valley, I do feel like it has like a nuance, but it could just be some kind of woody notes. And as it dries down, it does get a little smoky, which is why I was inclining towards thinking that maybe it has oud, but oud is not listed over here. I quite like this scent. Like I really quite like this scent. Like I want like Ali to wear it, but you know what? If this is... Uh, layered along with something like by the fireplace or majd al sultan not by the fireplace what was that amir al ud or majd uh, al sultan oh, i think it will create like a very stunning i don't know why that came in my mind but mixing these two i'll try and do a layering video and see if these two mixes and then it will become a unisex scent and then i can wear it so i guess this would be like my first paris corner scent that i would give like a high score 9 out of 10 you know it's very good. It's definitely leaning masculine. They classify it as unisex, but I think it leans masculine. Spring, summer, especially evenings, definitely for sure. You will love it. The tone of voice I've written, well-groomed and suited man with a fun, uplifting energy. The Middle Eastern vibe check is zero. Projection is around like four to five feet. Like again, depends on how much you spray. And I would suggest don't overspray this. It's not as potent as uh, Imperial Valley, but like it's still quite potent. And the projection is seven hours for sure. It's not as good as uh, Imperial Valley, but it's definitely like it it lasts for quite some time. And the celebrity I want to give this to was uh, Ryan Reynolds, just because of his cool, upl uplifting personality. But like, you know, the way his relationship with his wife and everything, it, I just feel he's a very good man, you know, like he's like a decent man, like like the right balance of fun, seriousness and everything. So yeah, Ryan Reynolds it is. So let's move on to the next one, which is the Paris Corner Pistachio, hair Pistachio. Same box. It's a very ordinary box. That's why I'm not like really showing it all because it's nothing to show off. <laughs> it's a regular box, but then what do you expect from a perfume that's only $18? So this one is has a bright green bottle. It's the same bottle as hair, but it is... So let me show you the bo bottle up close. Bottle. <laughs> bottle up close. Yeesh. Super shiny. Very nice. So this is supposed to be compared to Young Pistachio Gelato by Keali. So what I'm going to do. Yeah. It's the first impression. Yeah. So if you're not aware, I'm not like a big fan of uh, Keali's Young Pistachio Gelato. It's a nice scent, but it did not like really, I, I didn't get the whole hype around it. That's the Keali. I have a 10 ml bottle. And this is, this side is your hair and this side is your Keali. They're nearly identical. It's so weird. The Keali smells a little bit more creamy and gelato-like. The hair pistachio smells a little more shampoo-y. If you have seen my review for the Yum uh, Pistachio Gelato, I had said that it reminds me of Bird Plus. It's like that shampoo. It's not really like gourmand gourmand. This is like a different kind of gourmand. Yes, it has a sweetness, the gourmandness and everything. But at the same time, it has the shampooiness about it, which goes away after some time and revealing like a very pleasant scent. The hair pistachio, it does have that, but like 
the pistachio becomes a bit more realistic like in a while this one smells more like a gelato pistachio this one smells more like a pistachio pistachio and the shampoo thing doesn't really go away in this one so while i like it as a dew you can't really make out the difference if you just like spray it and roll around people will think you're wearing yum pista uh, yum uh, pistachio gelato but like side by side i'm telling you like in deep details like how i think about these two perfumes right so yeah the kiali does feel a little bit more creamy a little bit more gourmand the balance and everything it's like you can feel like it's a little bit more complicated uh time has been taken meticulously to actually like create this perfume yeah there's a slight difference there's a slight difference and i'm telling you like when you smell it side by side the only difference you feel is this is a little bit more shampooy a little bit more realistic pistachio and this one is like a gelato pistachio like creamy uh fluffy pistachio so yeah super close okay definitely it will be categorized as gourmand it's very middle eastern leaning because the pistachio in this smells like an arabian pistachio this one smells like a gelato which is italian you know so this does smell like italian not middle eastern this smells middle eastern yeah i think that's the best way of describing it this literally smells like you've taken a bunch of pistachios in your hand and you're sniffing it again it's only for 18 dollars so <laughs> you have nothing to complain about you know the top notes are italian bergamot pistachio gelato hazelnut sweet rum and cardamom the middle notes of geranium, white peony, muguet, jasmine, raspberry, white peach and pear. Base notes of whipped cream, marshmallow, cotton candy, Turkish delight, accord, cocoa, cedar wood, sandalwood and tonka. Oh my god, did I like develop a few more grey hairs reading these notes? So for this one, for that Pert Plus scent, the Pert Plus shampoo scent, it takes a long, long, long time to like settle down. Once it settles down, it smells very strongly of pistachio and uh your cardamom on the other hand the kiali the more it's drying down it's smelling more like a creamy gelato kind of a thing going on there's def definitely a difference the opening is very very similar but like it's when it starts drying down you can clearly smell the difference the more i'm smelling it the more i can you know also like the hair pistachio is a little soapy again it's the same shampoo soapy kind of thing like a it smells like a parlor you know where they uh wash your hair and this like put like really strong smelling uh shampoo smells kind of like that the kiali is also quite nutty like it smells like nutty and i don't know it smells just a little bit more expensive but clearly like you know of course this is an 18 dollar perfume so don't expect too much yeah but side by side you can smell the difference but like if you just like wear it and pass by no one will know which one you're wearing right also while this doesn't have coconut in it i don't know from where i'm getting like a slight bit of coconut shaving so yeah, it's a very complicated scent and clearly it is because it's like, uh, it, it's, you keep smelling it. It's very interesting. You keep smelling it and you're just like wondering what you're smelling. Of course, the pistachio is like right there in the front, front. The cardamom is right there in the front. But then you're also thinking like, oh my God, like there's some nuttiness, but what's that nuttiness? Uh, it smells like hazelnut oil, not hazelnut. This one, it smells more like actual hazelnut, right? Then it has a sweetness of your cotton candy, marshmallows. Uh, it's like a mixture of a lot of things. And now if you know i do not like wearing the kiali's uh, yum pistachio but after i've sprayed it today i don't know because it's been sitting on my shelf i've literally not used it at all so i don't know i feel like wearing it now so i probably will start wearing this yum pistachio again because it's intriguing me because it's smelling more gaman as compared to when i had initially reviewed it and i'm liking it hair on the other hand it has this artificial like a it's very strongly artificial so i can smell like that artificialness and there's something that's really bothering me it's that soapy uh shampooy thing which is like quite strong and it's bothering me it's not like i i don't think i can wear this perfume i think it's that pear and the peach which shouldn't have been there if that was not here i think it's it's like a little clash going on okay that's exactly what i was the word i was looking for this one feels like a super nice blend tested tried they've tried multiple times wear tests and everything this one feels like they have added all the ingredients and tried to like tweak it here and there but that pear and peach are just like sticking out like a sore thumb in the base notes the tonka and the whipped cream and the marshmallow is like very very evident and like that's when in the dry down it becomes like quite nice but that shampoo soapy thing never goes away so yeah i do like it and it's a very close dupe so if you like yum pistachio gelato but you cannot like afford to buy an expensive perfume like that you can always go for the hair pistachio which is like a fraction of the price it's like 18 dollars it's like nothing you know as opposed to kiali's yum pistachio which i think 50 ml is like a hundred dollars so 
This is definitely a feminine perfume. I think you can wear this any weather, any time during the day. I would prefer wearing this during the daytime, but you know what? Even a date night and everything, why am I smelling this? Even date night and everything, I think you can wear it. But I don't know, there's this irk, like, like something's irking me and it would disturb me. Like it will not let me focus on what I'm doing. Now this tone of voice also I've written like it's a non-conformist girl. It's a girly girl, but she's a non-conformist. So she's like a very feminine energy and everything, but she's rebellious. She doesn't like stick to like what's been told or, you know, social constructs and everything. Like she does not like following all that. She's very independent. She likes to do things her own way, but her room is like all like pistachio colored and pinks and pastel colors and everything and she's very girly girl you know so there are pom-poms everywhere and like glitter and all that stuff but she's still a non-conformist this is the kind of tone of voice i'm getting from this the middle eastern vibe check is like zero i would say the projection of this perfume is like three to four feet which is like quite a lot so just spray a little bit because this can claw you especially in the heat and the longevity was also like around seven to eight hours which was like quite excellent it stays for quite some time my rating for this is like a seven out of ten it's not a bad perfume, but it's not the greatest, you know. I do feel like the, on the dry down, the yum pistachio gelato becomes amazing, amazing. Like, I can't believe I've been sleeping on this perfume. Actually, I need to start using, you see all those Kealis? I'm barely touching them because I'm afraid it's going to finish. So, <laughs> I've not been touching them, but I better start wearing them before they go bad or something. And the celebrity I had given uh, hair pistachio to was Mandy Moore. It's very Mandy Moore, but Mandy Moore was a conformist, right? Like, in every... A uh, movie of her, she was very agreeable with everybody, you know, so just think of her but be, like being a little bit like rebellious and stuff. So that's it for today's video of hair and hair pistachio. I love the bottles, they're very cute, but I have a feeling this one is definitely going to go to Ali and this one, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. But let's see, I'm going to keep it for some time and see if it changes even in the slightest bit. And maybe because initially even with yum pistachio gelato, I wasn't very like impressed with it. And now, like after smelling it, like right now, I'm literally like, why am I not using this? It's such a different, such a unique, such a beautiful scent. So yeah, I'm definitely like probably going to like consider buying a bigger <laughs> bottle of this one. But uh, hair pistachio, maybe after a while, I'll start liking it a little bit more. So so I hope that helped, even in the slight bit, even if a little bit like extra information I could give you, because I know a lot of people have reviewed these perfumes. There are a lot of, lot of, lot of reviews of all these dupes and everything, but I wanted to try it for myself and uh, these are my initial if you know you know i was very against trying paris corner i was very against trying mason alhambra like which are like very very directly duping stuff and not making like slight bit of changes but then i'm like uh you know like i'm getting so many requests and stuff from you guys and i was like you know what let me just try them so you see a little bit more of paris corner from me you know there i know there are many other brands in middle east in the middle eastern world like ahmad al maghribi uh there is uh Alarman has been very quiet. They're releasing stuff, but they are very clear dupes of other perfumes and they're very pricey, so no one's buying them. But then you have Rasasi and then you have your Ajmal, Swiss Arabian. Uh, Swiss Arabian, the Elixir, the Shagafut Elixir, I'll be getting that soon. So I'll be reviewing that soon. I need to get my salary and then I can buy more perfumes. So I'm waiting for that. Uh, I'll review that soon for you and maybe I'll make like my entire Shagafut collection because I have all of them. So I can probably make a new video for you guys you know update it where i test them now again after so many like months and years you know so that's it for today guys uh i hope you like this video and i know i've been like speaking a little too fast because when i'm editing i'm realizing that i'm going at this hyper speed and i'm sorry but like if you guys have been following my videos you know like i'm off my some of my medication you know and it is like my anxiety like keeps like coming and going and I need to try and focus my energy and it's not easy it's a whole thing you know like so yeah if you have anxiety you could know what I'm talking about but if you don't then you will not understand so anywho this is it for today and I'll see you in the next one